It's so much fun to be here with you guys. <laughs> I'm Tiffany Field, and I'm happy to be here with Linda Solon Wolf, with CG Funk, and with Angie Patrick, all my favorite people. Hi, Tiffany. Hey. I'm so excited to be here, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we were really just sitting around talking about research, weren't we? We were. Yeah. We were, and the importance of it, and yeah. how everybody should be involved in it, not just, not just corporations, it's up to individuals, too. And we'll be more specific. We were talking about massage and research. Exactly. And the incredible work that Tiffany's done at the Touch Research Institute. And the incredible money that you guys have raised to help <laughs> us do that research. Yeah. I mean, uh, a lot of the money that we've gotten from Angie and her whole movement to get all these corporations going has gone into the research on the premature babies. And um, Makes me very happy. Yeah, and I, I can't wait to tell some of the new results that we're getting um, from that. I mean, we not only have weight gain now, but we also can report that we're getting bone density changes. So, wow. you know, a lot of these children have uh, bone problems, bone growth and rickets and, and so on. And then the, the, the money that we got from Massage Envy to do the, the hand pain yeah, study. Yeah, and that affects really, so many people. I mean, I if know. you think about carpal tunnel and tennis elbow Absolutely. and arthritis and mm -hmm. massage therapists massage oh, therapists yeah. oh, with various right, problems right. i didn't even think about and that. what were you talking about earlier smartphone thumb smartphone or something? Thumb. <laughs> well yeah. it used to be called blackberry thumb but i guess now there, there are smartphones out there yeah. it's called smartphone yeah. thumb and then we got some some funding from biofreeze which oh, um, we're just finishing up a study there right and Which was to... in addition, you know, the, the yeah. hand pain study. So it was mm -hmm. the hand pain study plus biofreeze. Mm -hmm. And what about a little bit of the results from that? Um, well, basically, we find that it enhances the the effects of massage therapy, which is not too surprising, really, when you think about it, because it it smells good and it feels good, and I'm sure it has some some properties that that helps reduce the pain. Well, everybody loves their biofreeze. Everybody loves massage, so it's a great, you know, addition. And uh, we were talking about just other ways, be like I said, besides the corporations, that we can get individuals involved with, um, you know, helping to support massage therapy research. Mm -hmm. It doesn't take a lot, you know. It just takes. You might not even know how to start, right? Some people are like, "Well, I would give, but I don't even know where to begin." Well, there's a lot of places you could start, right? First of all, a check and mail it. To you <laughs> and Ryan, maybe you could stream the address across the bottom of the screen here. How we can get in touch with Dr. Field and make your donations. You know, this this research that she's doing is so important. Not only not only to the people who are in pain, but to massage therapy as an industry, as as a profession. Because without without that qualified evidence. We're stagnant. We're not going any further. Well, one of the things that I would really like to see massage therapists doing, and I think CG has been um, working a little bit on this from a uh, massage envy uh, perspective, is getting the, the science out to all the therapists. Right. So that when, for example, someone comes with low back pain, they can present the data to, to the client mm -hmm. um, to, so the client knows the importance of, sure. of getting the massage, not just that it feels good, but that it's really ultimately going to help their low back pain or whatever their, the pain syndrome they, they mm -hmm. have. Um, so I think that, you know, we can contribute to that. We have a website that has all these studies on it, not only our own studies, but abstracts from, from other people's research, right. um, which people can find. I should give the website address. Do, do it. <laughs> yeah. www.miami.edu slash touch hyphen research. And, yeah, we have, we're, we actually just uh, updated the 2011 um, we go in and look at all the research that's that's in the literature, and then we abstract that and and kind of, you know, uh, make it into layman's terms so that we don't have to get all hung up on reading the statistics of it and, sure. and so on. And I think you know it would be good for therapists could start there for you know reading the abstracts and then go if they're interested in a particular area go and find more research. Yeah, and you know what we we know there's about three hundred thousand massage therapists in the United States today, and that's give or take a couple. If every one of them gave $20 a year, can you imagine what we would raise oh, for so research? I mean, it doesn't take that much. It just takes getting involved. And when we think about what are we responsible for as massage therapists and body works, 
body workers. I mean, it, we took on this responsibility, whether consciously or unconsciously, to make a difference in human beings' lives through touch. Mm -hmm. And the more that we can get research showing how much massage does affect people, the more that we can educate the massage consumer about it, and they can educate their family and friends, the more people will get touch, the more people will live happier, healthier lives. And that's really... Right. And it I, doesn't take I want, of it I want to put in a pitch for, for children at this point, because I think that, you know, as per what you just said, if more... Uh, more adults get into massage, they're going to also be less stressed. They're going to be imparting less stress to their kids. Right. They might go home and massage their kids after they get massaged themselves. And I think that's really critical because uh, I know that uh, someone told me recently that the incidence of pain syndromes in children, pain syndromes that used to be pretty much adult syndromes like fibromyalgia, like uh, arthritis and, and so forth, these kids now are getting these diseases, and there's a 500-fold increase in in pediatric pain clinic patients across the country. So What's that this number is again? 500? 500. Yes, 500% That's increase. Staggering. In, it is staggering. It's it's. That's and, sad. And it's very sad that these were they used to be adult diseases, and now now they're pediatric diseases oh, as well. That's, that's heartbreaking. A lot of that from stress. A lot of that from not getting touched because there's this huge mandate, it's huge taboo in our school system that children not be touched. And so hopefully and, this is going to as more adults get into this, right. more it'll affect the kids too. And a little bit too is is that we're just out of control. We're just going so fast and so out of control. Mm -hmm. So parents probably don't spend that touch time right. with their kids growing up as much, but the kids are also stressed. Mm -hmm. They're stressed from first grade mm -hmm. on now. I mean, we used to have fun in first grade, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> so, so that's, yeah, and you know what I find interesting at Massage Envy is we, you know, and we're not promoting Massage Envy, obviously, but we're seeing an increase in parents bringing in their children and teenagers because we have membership and then we also have family add-ons. And oh, so we're seeing great. an increase in teens because their Wonderful. parents add them on as a member too. Mm -hmm. So that's a really great, you know, place to start is maybe next time you have a massage, bring your, you know, teenage yeah, yeah. child with Wonderful. you to get one too. Well, Colton's 19 and he gets massage on a regular basis. And since how old? Um, oh, well, obviously for me when he was an infant. Yeah. Yeah. Young, yeah. I think he was probably about 10 when he started getting professional massages. And he's yeah. a very well-adjusted well boy. He's very, <laughs> and he's very smart and he's very tall. I always give that, too, as my testimony to massage, that, that I massaged Tori since she was yeah. a baby. And now she's taller and smarter than me, and that's probably why. <laughs> he came in last week. He goes, you know, I really need to get a massage this week. It's been a couple of weeks. And I was like, you know, oh, yeah, let's get you signed up. Nice. nice. <laughs> hey, can you tell us a little bit about the workshop you offer at the Touch Research yeah. Institute? Yeah, we actually have a workshop for, for mm -hmm. massage therapists. Um, and it's held, I think it's the third Monday and Tuesday of every month. Um, the schedule's on our website. But um, basically, massage therapists come from all over the world. Sometimes there are also doctors and nurses and, and uh, psychologists who attend. And um, they basically learn all that we're doing. And right now, most of our um, emphasis is on uh, pregnancy massage to reduce prematurity. Um, and then on the preemie massage sure. to help them, them grow, and pain syndromes. So they get exposed to what we're doing currently, and um, they learn the massages that, that we're using in the research, and they learn the research um, tools that we're using, the various assessments. And so it's a lot of hands-on experience. And you offer continuing education for massage therapists. Yes, we right? also give continuing education credits, oh, both great. national and uh, in Florida State. And see, that's something that I didn't know is that you were doing the CEUs. We were talking about this yesterday, weren't we? I think it's tremendous. It's a tremendous opportunity for anyone here in the area, or if you can fly in for that, actually. I mean, we were talking about going and massaging the babies and, and having hands-on experience with that. Who would want to miss that? Who would want to miss Yeah, it's really great. I, mean, I can't imagine passing up an opportunity, having a resource like you here in the state, and not taking the opportunity mm -hmm. to, to capitalize on that. 
I mean, yeah. I, I can't imagine anybody passing up that opportunity. It's great, and the, you know, for example, last last week's uh, workshop, we had two uh, women from Japan, mm -hmm. um, one from uh, Bolivia. Wow! And I mean, they come from all over, and wow. so it's like it's a nice international experience for the for the people. Because you're an international rock star. Yes, you are. <laughs> and you know that's so interesting too, because if we look at, as massage therapists and body workers, most of the masters that really created a lot of the systems that we, we have grown out of today, they're gone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've got Moshe's gone, mm -hmm. Ida's gone. You know, you look back and, you know, Traeger's gone. And so why would you pass up an opportunity to study with one of the masters that's, that's still right. on the planet? That's this exactly is that. it. Like, this woman sitting next to me changed the face of massage and research. Absolutely. You, oh, wow. Thank you. To be in the same room with her is an honor. To take a class from her, oh my God. Oh, absolutely. That's amazing. You're amazing. <laughs> you are. <laughs> oh, we're all Should we all bow in front of her yes. now? Oh, <laughs> good room. <laughs> so send your money. That's what absolutely. we want. I mean, I'm hanging out here today because I don't want the Touch Research Institute to ever go away. Me neither. That's and I want them to do more studies and more studies, and I want them to show Americans across the nation how um, intentional touch can help change their lives, make Absolutely. it better. So that's my story and I'm sticking to it. How about you, Linda? Absolutely, and you know, contact um, the Touch Research Institute and I'd like all of us to contact us on Facebook if you want to know more ways. You know, I'm Linda Soling Wolf on Facebook. I know CG you're. Funk. Angie Patrick. And, and Angie Patrick. And I mean, we are here to support you, Tiffany. And we thank, thank you for you so all the support you've given everything. us. And it's been Yay. fabulous through the years. Yay. Thank you're an awesome Yay. resource and a wonderful